Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen of the interwebs. This is Nord Notwork with another episode of The Penniless Gamer. Today, we are reviewing a new game that's out in alpha. The name of this game is Robocraft. Right there. Now, this game you can't get from Steam yet. You have to go to their website, and I will provide a link down below. The point of this game is you basically make these cute little death machines. What do you do with them? Well, you take them to an alien world, and you fight other people with cute little death machines. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's kind of like if world, uh, world of Tanks met Minecraft. So you get these different types. You get the little speed guy, the tank guy, and my personal favorite, the flyer. And you have to compete and blow the blocks off of others. So what you do is you take them out of your garage, you go into the little bay area, and you construct your vehicle. Now you start with bases. You don't have to completely build it from the ground up, but these bases aren't very well built. Uh, if you try and just play with them, you'll get your block knocked off pretty quick. Um, so what you do is you earn these points and you get them through battle. Uh, you battle, pretty much like this. You can see you run in and you get all kinds of laser guns to shoot everyone. Um, once you've completed the mission, you can then come back to the garage and you get these tech points to spend, which will unlock more things in your tech tree. Right here. So, this is where you get new types of blocks, you get uh, new movement things, so boosters, thrusters, my personal favorite, the blades for the flyers. Um, you get some hardware, so guns and so forth. And then special, which doesn't seem to do a lot yet. It's mostly just like radar and windshields and things like that. Um, once you have them, then you can go and buy the blocks, all the different types, and then you go back into your garage, you pick the machine, and you start customizing it. Uh, I messed around with mine a little bit. Got it kind of pumped up, but it's not really crazy yet. So... Just to give you guys a better idea of what the gameplay itself looks like, uh, we're just going to do a quick little speed run here. Now, if you haven't figured out yet, I am narrating this rather than talking while playing the game. And there's a reason for that, and it's probably my biggest sticking point so far of this. Uh, in the options setting, there is no way of turning down the volume. You basically are all or nothing with it. And while the gameplay sounds are great and amazing and very rich in detail, they're also hella loud. So rather than try and scream and shout to be heard over the laser blast, I figured this was the better way to do it. So we're pretty much just going on a quick little side jaunt here. Uh, you can see I kind of snuck around to the back of their base. Uh, there are platforms on either side of the world, one red, one blue. And there are two ways to win the game. One is to capture the platform by having a bunch of machines kind of huddle around it. The other is to do that, blow up all of the opponents. Personally, most of us seem to go for the blow up all of your opponents. Now. You've heard me say knock your block off and uh, working on the physics. Here's why. Physics in this game actually matter. If you make an armadillo kind of vehicle, very close to the ground, very bottom heavy, that's great. But if you try and drive up an embankment, you get stuck like this guy did. So you can see we're all trying to flip him over. Not much luck. Uh, that happens fairly often. Um... Here's my favorite that I did. For the flyers to get any kind of height, you need to put in helium tanks. The first time I did it, I didn't realize exactly what that was going to do. As you can see, I'm about as stuck as stuck can be here. Um, so there's that. And then this one is also a favorite of mine. See how he's blowing off all my little parts, all my little blocks? See how I'm kind of starting to list to the side? If they take out 
all of your tires, all of your blades on one side, this will happen. So physics are definitely important in this game. Okay guys, uh, I guess it's about time to go ahead and rate Robocraft. So I think this game is a lot of fun. It's definitely got some interesting aspects to it as far as the customization of the vehicles go, as well as the fact that physics actually do matter, which is interesting and not something you see very often in a vehicle game like this. Um, I'm going to definitely be playing this game a lot more in the future as it hopefully is truly greenlit on Steam. I believe in about three or four days it's supposed to be up for vote. Uh, at least that's kind of what I'm getting from the website itself. But it's definitely one to keep your eye on. So as far as our highly scientific rating method for this game goes, I'm going to go from a scale of a Roomba up to let's go with the giant fighting robots from the Pacific Rim movie. I'm gonna have to give this game, Robocraft, a Voltron. <laughs> 